Hey Pisces, what's going on everybody? It's Anne from Cancer Moon's Tarot and I'm coming at you guys with your August 2022 tarot reading. How are you peeps? I hope you peeps are well. Without a further ado, we're gonna go ahead and jump on into it and we'll see what we got going on, baby. What do we got coming up here, please, for the zodiac signs of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Coming up throughout the month of August 2022, what information do we have showing up here, please, for the zodiac sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, throughout the month of August 2022. Having a look here at the first card out, we do got here the Four of Pentacles. Cool. Looking at the next card for you, we also have here the Ace of Wands. And then looking at the last two overall energies for your month ahead, we also have here the Four of Cups and we have here the High Priestess. So not too bad so far, Pisces. Of course, with the High Priestess showing up, that is Piscean energy. So you are definitely showing up here in today's reading. Now, having a look here at your August ahead, we got the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the High Priestess card, and we have here the Four of Cups. What I would say here is that with the Four of Pentacles to the Ace of Wands, you know, this is the energy of holding on to something. But with the Four of Pentacles showing up towards that Ace, it's about holding on to something, but getting ready to expand it. So I feel like instead of being in an energy where you're very safe and very practical, you want to start to allow your passion to grow something even further. So instead of playing it a little bit too safe, it's time to get a bit outside of your comfort zone is a vibe that I'm feeling for many of you. Now with the High Priestess here to the Four of Cups, High Priestess card is the card of intuition, and then the Four of Cups is usually the card of like tuning something out. I don't think this is downright saying that you're tuning out your intuition, but it feels to me like what you're saying here is that I have to tune out that energy of being overly practical and I have to invite in a little bit more risk and a little bit more uh, focus on what I want to do. It's almost like this energy too of like I have to believe in myself a little bit more as well. So it's about getting out of the idea of being too unrealistic. I think you're recognizing here that nothing is unrealistic unless you believe that it's not able to be achieved. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, I always tell people, if you believe that you have the ability to do something, you're going to be able to do it. But if you don't have that within your belief system and you believe that something's unrealistic, it's not going to be something you push yourself to do because you won't believe it to be successful. So I do think that jumping into the month year of August, you're trying to get out of your comfort zone. You're trying to get out of being too overly practical. You want to add a little bit of a risk factor. You want to see something grow and expand. And in order to do that, you have to move out of that energy or mentality of something being unrealistic and recognizing that the possibilities are endless, you know? So it's really about opening up your perception of what you're able to do and really opening up your belief system of what it is you can actually achieve. So I like this, man. I always try to tell people expand your belief system because what holds 99% of people back is going to be their limited beliefs. You know, if you do not believe that you have the ability to do anything, then you're basically going to limit what it is you can and will do in your lifetime. So the more that we open up our belief systems to what we have the ability to do, the more experiences we're going to have and the more magical things we're going to manifest. All right. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and check out your surroundings here for your month ahead. What's going to be going on here in Piscean surroundings, please? Throughout August 2022, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going to be going on here in the surroundings, please, for the Zodiac of Pisces? First card out, and we got here the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups, energy of walking away, but also every time we walk away from something, we inevitably walk towards something. Looking at the next card for you, we do have here the Three of Cups, and then looking at the last two cards for your surroundings, we also have here the Queen of Cups, and we got here the Two of Cups. That's a lot of cups, man. A lot of water energy showing up over here. You might be dealing with a Pisces Cancer or potentially a Scorpio as well. So taking a look at what's going on here in your surroundings, right? Eight of Cups, Three of Cups, Two of Cups, Queen of cups with the eight of cups here to the three i do feel like this is a celebration pisces of being able to walk away from something um it's almost like this celebration of like walking away from the nine to five job you hated because you just now started a new business and you're congratulating yourself maybe you're having like a new business party because it's like i'm so happy i finally walked away from this job i wanted to leave for years and now i'm excited because i'm doing what i want to do you know so this could be like that energy of getting congratulated by other people you were so proud of you that you're going after your dream or that you're really trying to pursue something here and you moved out of a place that you were unhappy you know this could be the energy of people supporting you so just friends 
friends and family. And with a two of cups, you know, two of cups is that energy of going to what it is you're really connected to. Uh, one thing I like a lot about this month, Pisces, is that I do feel like there are a lot of people here that are going to be incredibly supportive of you. I do feel a very supportive nature coming in this month for you. So when it comes towards leaving behind what is making you unhappy and really pursuing things that are going to be fulfilling to you, I think that the environment you're surrounded in has your back. I definitely feel like people are here to congratulate you, support you, and really watch you achieve a lot of milestones. You know, Queen of Cups, taking a look at your emotional state of being, I think you're in a very great place emotionally, and I think you're in a place too where you can feel happy because other people are being happy for you. And I think that's a wonderful feeling, right? Probably one of the worst feelings that any of us can experience is when people are having a difficult time being happy for you. You know, when people are jealous or people are constantly spreading negative opinions or when people just don't want to see you succeed because they're, they push their values onto you, you know, that's a really struggling, harsh type of environment to deal with. But when you're around people who are being utterly supportive, it is such a beautiful feeling to have. So I think that coming into your month of August here, you know, a lot of you guys are really leaving behind something that you don't like anymore. And what you've held on to for the longest, you're getting ready to grow and expand it. So maybe some of you guys here have held on to a dream for so long, but you've kept it to yourself with that Four of Pentacles energy, right? Because you felt like it was too unrealistic to pursue. And now coming into the month of August, it's like, all right, I'm ready to open up Pandora's box over here. And no longer am I going to hold on to that dream. I'm going to go ahead and work towards that dream to make it a reality of mine. I'm going to open up my beliefs and no longer limit myself and say that it's impossible. I'm going to start to believe that it is possible for me to achieve. And I'm going to go ahead and take action and get it done. So this is the energy of walking away right now from everything that's made you unhappy and really starting to walk away towards what you once thought wasn't possible, but what you now are starting to see completely is. So I love this for you, really expanding your beliefs here, really getting ready to go deep and start transforming your life into the way you wanna live it, and people seem to be very much so on your side, Pisces, this month. So congratulations, y'all, and I can't wait to see what it is you guys really bring into your reality here. Uh, let's go ahead and have a look, though, at your personal feelings for the month here ahead. Give me one sec, guys, I messed up the cards. My OCD says I have to make it look nice and neat. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look. Let's have a look here at Pisces personal feelings throughout the month of August, 2022. How are my Piscean peeps gonna be feeling personally while they're navigating through this month ahead? First card out, we do have here the five of wands. A Little bit of stress, but that's good stress though. Okay, a lot of people are like, Aunt, good stress, that's the thing. Sometimes it is, because good stress can invoke pressure, and sometimes we need a little bit of pressure to kick our ass to move us in the right direction, you know? Sometimes we need a little bit of that pressure to get us going forward. Moving on to the next card for you, we also got here the Wheel of Fortune. Cool, so you definitely are experiencing a pretty huge shift. You know, if you're seeing the Wheel of Fortune showing up in terms of your personal feelings, Wheel of Fortune here says, you are now starting to see yourself as a fortunate person. You're, <clears throat> excuse me, you're starting to see yourself as a person Person who can turn their life around, who can actually have things turn in their favor. You know, this is the energy of seeing that it's not about luck, but it's more so about what you do, right? I always am that person who says you make your own luck because you really do. At the end of the day, based upon your belief systems, based upon the amount of work you're willing to put in, you are able to achieve anything. And if you back that up with belief and action, you're making your own luck each and every single day. So with the Wheel of Fortune showing up here for you, Piscean, it's definitely you starting to feel like you can turn your life in whatever direction you want it. And uh, with that recognition, it's a really beautiful thing to see. Uh, we also have here the Page of Wands, which is the card of like having a little bit more fun and uh, Three of Swords showing up here too. So yeah, so what I would say on your personal feelings here, Pisces, it's like I'm really tired of dealing with dreadful feelings and things that make me unhappy and things in life that bring me pain. You know, I want to start living my life in the manner of what's going to make me happy and what I want to do that's going to be more fun and lighthearted. I think a lot of you guys are realizing you write the story to your life. Nobody else can tell you what your story is going to be but you. And if you kept limiting yourself to believe that your story can only go so far, that would be the story you end up playing out. But because you recognize that you can get creative with your story and you can have so many new twists and turns involved in your life, you know, you're really up to the task here. You're up to the challenge here with this page of wands. So life's about to get a whole lot interesting here, jumping into August, 2022 for you Pisceans, um, which I really enjoy, you know? Now there will be some Pisces watching, of course, that are still in this energy of feeling pretty overly practical. The thing about practicality, guys, is that practicality is helpful. It is. It is helpful to be practical. It is helpful to look at things sometimes in a realistic point of view. But we got to remember that the moment we expand our beliefs, 
is the moment where something actually starts to become practical for us. Because anything in your life that's practical is something that you believe is an easy route to make something achievable, right? So for example, if you went to college and you got a degree, you would say it's practical, right? To go to college to get a degree to become a doctor. Because if you have those medical degrees, you become a doctor, it's the practical route to take. Because you have been primed to believe that that's the way a person becomes a doctor. They go to medical school, they get their training, and that's what happens, that's how they do it, so it's practical. What if you were to believe that it's practical to pursue your dreams because you have the ability to make them real? If you believe that, and you figured that that was how to make it happen, you would believe that that's the practical route. So practicality is pretty much in line with our belief systems, if that makes sense. If you believe that something can be achieved, and you believe that a certain route makes it easier for you, you believe that it's practical to do something, period. So at the end of the day, guys, I think it is very important here to remember that what we choose to believe that we're able to do and what our belief systems are, are going to play a major role in what we accomplish here, not only just in August 2022, but throughout the rest of our lives. So as I was trying to mention, you know, there's going to be a few Pisceans that are watching this that are like, yeah, this reading's really unrealistic. Remember, it's only going to be unrealistic to you if you have a limited perception or if you have limited beliefs. So that's going to be the one big thing to work on here coming into the month of August 2022 is about expanding the beliefs of what it is you're capable of and what it is that you believe you can truly do. Okay. Now for anybody that wants to be able to write their story in whatever direction they want it to go into, it's going to require a recipe. And that recipe is going to be Number one, believing in yourself, but number two, taking action in order to get there. There is no law of attraction without the law of action. So make sure you apply both. All right. All right, guys, let's see what you can expect going forward here, please, throughout the rest of your August 2022. What can my Pisceans expect going forward throughout the rest of their August 2022? We got here the devil card, but the devil came out in reverse. It kind of shot out that way. So I'll take it. We got here the devil in reverse. Moving on to the next card, we do got here the star card. Hello, love it for you. And moving on to two more cards for you, Piscean. We got here the two of pentacles and we got here the 10 of cups. Sweet. So let's go ahead and talk about it, all right? Taking a look at what you can expect going forward throughout the rest of your August. You got here the devil reversed. You got the star. You got the two of pentacles. You got the 10 of cups. Now with the devil showing up in the reverse position over here, this is the energy of your stress, your worries, really starting to dissipate right in front of you. You know, the devil in reverse is the card of like no more negativity towards my goals and my aspirations, no more limited beliefs, no more putting myself down. This is the time to be positive. This is the time to believe in myself. This is the time to take action. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you're really priming your mindset here, Pisces, coming into this month to really get some success here. So you're doing everything you can to keep a positive outlook on life and on what it, on what it is you're doing. Uh, you do got here the star card. So the star card, of course, is the card of fortune, the card of success, and the card of alignment. So you're doing everything you can this month to knock yourself in alignment to make this one thing you held on to forever really grow and expand. Remember, this is about bringing dreams into reality this month. This is about bringing what you thought was unachievable and making it achievable this month. So you're doing everything you can to get yourself in alignment. What does this mean? Well, let's say a dream of yours is to start your own business. Well, guess what? Star card is the card of getting started. You know, it's the card here of putting yourself in alignment to make that business work. You can't start a business without the business being started. You can't have a successful business without knowing what the concept is or knowing what the business is. So it's about getting started here and setting everything up with that star card. Now, looking at the two of pentacles, two of pentacles is a pretty interesting energy because it could be the energy that talks about something being wishy-washy, or it could be the energy that talks about a flow state. I feel like the two of pentacles is representing the flow state for you, Pisces. What's happening here for you now is that in the month of August, August, you're getting into this flow, you know, and as you're in this flow, you're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing in order to get success. So this is about not being distracted, but instead being pretty incredibly focused. Uh, for those of you guys that are starting dream jobs, for those of you guys that are pursuing other types of dreams, maybe you want, really want to travel, whatever it may be, you know, you're getting yourself set up and ready to go. And there's no excuses. There's no negativity that's standing in the way of everything. When you're in the flow state, there's nothing disrupting that flow. So what this is telling me, Pisces, is that you're really committing to the experience this month. You're really committing to whatever you want to see grow and expand in your life, and you're not letting things stand in the way of that, which is really awesome. And looking at the Ten of Cups being the last card here of what it is you can expect, you can expect, you know, the ultimate fulfillment coming forward from this. 
on an emotional level, you're going to be feeling really high on life right here. You know, this is the energy of feeling super good, super content, super excited. And with all this excitement, it just makes you feel more motivated and more passionate to keep on going forward. Uh, so Pisces, for those of you guys that are watching this reading, man, like I mentioned previously, you know, there's going to be a few of y'all that are like, okay, this reading's really unrealistic. Um, I don't even know what Ant's talking about. He's crazy. Uh, but remember, it all really comes down to what your belief system is and what you believe you're capable of doing and what you're willing to take action to do. I mean, you know, I would have thought years ago that having a YouTube channel with over 283,000 subscribers would be incredibly impossible for me. And then I opened up my belief system to the fact that I was worthy and deserving of this and that it could happen for me. And then it did, you know, when I didn't believe in myself, I didn't achieve anything. I've had tons of channels in my past, but when I started to believe in myself, I started to see the results and it really, really counts, man. When you believe in yourself, when you believe in yourself and you take action, you're going to write your story. And most importantly, you're going to write a story that plays out the way you want it to. Okay. So Pisces, I do feel like what you can expect going forward is lots of contentment, lots of happy, lots of commitment to your vision, and things are really going to start finally unfolding for you. And it's a super exciting process. I really like this, man. Taking a look here at the overall outcome for you. What's going to be the overall outcome here, please, for the zodiac sign of Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout August 2022. What is going to be your overall outcome for the month ahead? And that is going to be the Queen of Wands. Hello, Queen of Wands, very passionate card, but it's also that card here of really embracing yourself and really embracing your talents and really embracing what you're capable of, Pisces. If anything, this is the term of saying, Pisces, you're on fire. You know, you're super passionate this month. Things are going well. You're in your element. You're in your focus things are really starting to show up here for you because of how powerful you are and how much power you're really honing in on with this queen of wands. So changing your perception here is ideally changing your life this month. And you're seeing that happen in a very firsthand experience, which is what I love, man. I love when people see it, how powerful we are, how much we have the ability to manifest, how much we have the ability to change our lives in an instant. When we start seeing that truly unfold and we start to step into our power, it's such a rad and awesome experience. And I love seeing that for you. And as I mentioned to you, Piscean, coming into this month too, I really do think you're going to have tons of support from people in your environment. So this is friends, this is family members, people who are happy to see you be happy, people who are happy to see you succeed and to go after what it is that you truly want to do. Uh, so don't hold back here at all, guys. Whatever you want to see grow and expand, you know, four of pentacles, whatever dream you've held on to, whatever idea you've had in your past, whatever you've always held on to but never acted on, it's time here to take a little bit of a step out of your comfort zone this month and to really focus on believing yourself and see what you can make of it you know? So guys, do take what resonates. Not everybody is going to resonate with this reading, of course. And of course, there are going to be some people that don't really like any of the things I've mentioned in this reading because they're going to feel like, well, this is not practical and it's not going to happen. It's fairy tales and BS. You know, there are going to be a few people that do feel that way. And I understand that if you do feel that way. But do remember, guys, when you have something that you believe you're able to do and you go ahead and you set out there and you do the work, you're going to be successful in the end. You got to try it out for yourself. You know, I'm not trying to tell people here, of course, to take big risks and big gambles and really miss out on something. Don't do that. Of course, always have a backup plan. If you have that feeling that maybe not everything will work out entirely to ear or to the way that you want it to, but you have to experience at least once having the ability to truly believe something and watch it unfold. You know what I'd say to people? People who feel a little bit nervous to take risks, I'd say start small when it comes towards your manifesting. I remember when I wanted to build my confidence in manifesting, I started incredibly small, such as things of like, I'm going to find a $5 bill on the ground. And guess what? The next day, what did I find? $5 bill. You know, start really small with your manifestations to build up your confidence of you creating and manifesting your life. You know, so for those of you guys that are looking to manifest opportunities to manifest your own careers, things of that nature, start really small, work yourself up big. Okay. But either way though, guys, this is really the month to get your foot in the door and start believing in that's a new type of reality you want to create for yourself. And, um, if you're afraid of feeling like it's not going to unfold, I would say once again, start small with your manifesting and then keep going bigger and bigger and bigger with the things that you're going to manifest and create. All right. I would also say scripting is something really awesome. I love writing in journals and I love when my writing comes to life. It's something that's really cool to watch too. So I would definitely recommend getting a piece of paper and writing as if everything's already happened. So for example, for your month of August, maybe write how you want your month of August to go, but write it as if it's already happened throughout the month of August here. I have achieved X, Y, and Z. Throughout the month of August, I am 
X, Y, and Z. Really write everything out as if it's already happened, write it in the present tense. And then when you finish this month, take a look back at that piece of paper, see what it is you've accomplished. And I think many of you will be surprised. And even if you didn't hit everything you wanted to get done or want it to manifest in the month of August, remember that time is not linear. So with that being said, it will totally, totally happen when it's meant to happen. So if something doesn't manifest in August, it might manifest next April. It might manifest September. So do keep that in mind, okay? All right, Pisces, I love you. Thank you for being here. Hope I didn't bore y'all with all the information. Love you. Love you so much. Thank you for tuning in. If you are new here, please do consider subscribing. And uh, with that being said, Pisces, enjoy the rest of your August, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Much love to the Soul family, and have yourselves a good one. Peace.